Let's go ahead and take a look at Math Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 18, Multi-Digit Multiplication and Division, Topic E, Division of Tens and Ones with Successive Remainders. We'll begin by dividing a two-digit number by a one-digit divisor with a remainder in the tens place. Okay. So we're going to take 57 and divide it into three groups. And I'm going to begin by using my place value chart. I will represent 57 with five tens and seven ones. And as you can see, I have my three groups down here. This is one group of tens and ones another group of tens and ones and then here's my last group I will distribute these tens I crossed out three of them and I'm going to move those three into the groups but when I attempt to move these two I see that if I put them in here, I, my groups won't be even. I don't have enough tens to do that with. So what I'll have to do is I have to draw a line through this one, and I'm going to decompose this ten into ten ones. I'm going to regroup it, or you could say I'm going to unbundle it. But basically, I'm going to take these ten one, these ten, this ten, and change it in for ten ones. and there they are. And I have another 10 that I have to decompose or unbundle or change in. So I'm going to trade in this 10. I'm going to decompose this one 10 into 10 ones. And there they are. Now, instead of having two tens over here, I have ten ones here, which is equal to one ten. And I have ten ones here, which is equal to one ten. And I also have seven ones that I started with. So now I have twenty-seven ones. So I'm going to take my twenty-seven ones, and just as I did before, I'm going to... cross out three of them and put three of them in my groups. And I will continue this process until I can't do it anymore. It's one, two, three ones going to my groups. One, Two, three ones going to my groups. One, two, three ones going into groups. One, two, three ones. Put those in my groups. One, Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <clears throat> and it looks like I can do it one more time. Two, three, and those three ones will go into my groups. So now I've done it. I have one ten in each group, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones in this group. So I have one ten in each group, and I have nine ones in each group. One ten 
and 9 ones is 19. So let's look at this process by and use the long division method or the standard algorithm for division. I begin with 57 and my divisor is 3. So I'm going to think about the 5 being 5 tens. So I have 5 tens and I'm going to put them into groups. So how many tens will be in each group? 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 1, 3 times, 1, 2, 3, is 3. So I'm going to subtract my 5 tens minus the 3 tens that I moved, and I get 2. These 2 tens I then decomposed and moved into my 1's place, where I had 27 1's. 27 ones divided into three groups was 9 because 9 times 3 is 27. Then I subtract and I have 0 as my remainder. So my quotient is equal to 19. And in this case, my remainder was zero. Let's try another one. This time I have 86 that I want to divide into five groups. So I'm going to have to represent that on a place value chart. Now I don't always have a place value chart, but they're really not hard to draw. In this case, all I'm dealing with is tens and ones. So I'm going to draw a chart like this. This will be my ones, and this side will be my tens. And I'm going to need five groups. So I'm going to make this area for my disks or my dots and then down here I'll make my groups <clears throat> so that'd be one group two three four looks like I need to draw one up here and that should make five so one two three four five groups now I need to represent 86 with my place value disks or with my dots. I have eight tens in 86, so I'm going to represent those on this side. There's my eight tens. Also, I have six ones, so I'm going to represent my six ones over here on this side. Now I have six ones. My next step is going to be to take my ones, I mean take my tens, and distribute those into my five groups. So I have one, two, three, four, five groups. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five tens. And I'm going to put one in each. So that's one, two, three, four, five tens. Now I have three tens. If I've tried to put my three tens in these groups, I will not have enough tens to give one to each group. So I need to decompose these three tens into ones. This one's going to give me ten ones. This one's going to give me another ten ones. That's going to be twenty ones. And this one would give me another ten, which would be thirty ones. Ten, twenty, thirty. So I need to draw thirty ones in this column. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <coughs> so I have 30 ones that I just put in here, and I used to have six ones in here. So now I have 36 ones. So all I have to do now is distribute these this 36 ones into my five groups. Since I have five groups, I'm going to go five at a time. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 And now I'm going to put them down here. One, two, three, four, five. Putting one in each group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's important to have a methodical method. That means I'm doing it the same way each time. That way I don't get confused or forget where I'm at. Just crossed out five. I'm now moving those five into the groups. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have this. I have this one right here who doesn't have a place to go. Because if I put it in one of the groups, then the groups will, n will not be even. So let's take a look at how many we have in each group. I have one ten in this group. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. This group has one ten and seven ones. So each of my groups has one ten in it and seven ones. But I have one remaining. So let's show this same division using the standard long division algorithm. I'm going to put my 86 here. I'm going to put my divisor here on the outside. And I'm going to say, okay, I had eight tens. I divided them into five groups. I got one ten in each group. One times five is five. One ten five times was five. Then I need to subtract. Eight minus five is three. Three tens and six ones. That was my thirty-six ones. I have thirty-six ones. I'm dividing them into five groups. And in each of my groups, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be seven. Seven times five, that's thirty-five. And then thirty-six minus thirty-five is one. So my quotient is seventeen. My remainder is one. Alright, that's going to do it for lesson 18 where we've been working to find whole number quotients and remainders. If you need additional help with this, you can go to lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center and scroll down to Math Resources. You can click on any of the grade levels, but we're working with fourth grade right now. You can go to Module 3, which is what we're working on, and we're in Topic E. So you click here on Topic E, and you can get a newsletter 
<clears throat> and the newsletters, um, they help you out. They'll define like uh, a lot of the vocabulary you use. They'll explain some of the strategies that we're using in this module.